Hello ABG is back with another episode of unboxing and today we have from the maker of Chope another game from Ori Games and this is Kopi King so uh, Kopi King is kind of like the natural successor to Chope even though uh, gameplay is a bit different and for those of you who had issues playing games when there was the circuit breaker or because of COVID you can't go out and meet friends you'll be pleased to know that Kopi King you can play it solo yep, so it plays 1 to 6 uh, gameplay takes about 15 minutes and it's for age 10 and above so let's without further ado go into the unboxing If this is the first time you are here at our channel or you have been viewing our videos multiple times but you have not clicked on the subscribe button yet, do give it a click, turn on the notification bell so you get our videos as soon as they are out. We really appreciate if you do subscribe to us so that we can actually bring more of this uh, local board game or Asian board game contents to you. So that's the plastic string off and let's head to unboxing game so the uh, the game copy king is actually designed by uh, Daryl so Daryl is the designer of uh, Chope as well okay let's look at what we have here so when you open you are greeted first by a long rule book okay like it's not really long yep and uh, what is iconic to some is I mean, for some of you who actually look at this picture, you'll be able to identify a lot of the items inside, especially if you are from the uh, Southeast Asia region. So you have your rose syrup, your kind of the tin for Milo, which is a chocolate tea malt drink. You have your carnation milk, and of course you have sugar. So what else do we have inside? There is the Ori Games catalog and of course, you can see some of their games that they have out here and you see that we have actually featured uh, Joke and Mooncake Master before so I'll link the videos somewhere over here so you can actually watch them uh, when you're done with this and of course, they have some of the other games coming out uh, in 2020 and uh, let's talk about Copy King first so inside the game, you have this two big stack of cards and looking at the size of the box, it means that you actually have space for sleeves because there is actually enough area to the side end. Yeah, so that's a good sign. And the depth of the cards, if you actually look from sideways, you know that if you actually use probably 70 micron sleeves, you'll be able to close the box very well. But if you buy like 100 micron, you probably have to strap it in using a rubber band or, or some kind of an elastic band. But let's go on and take a look at the cards. So here you can tell this is Chope Nation milk. Technically speaking, it's Carnation milk. So yeah, that's a bit of a wordplay. I'm sure it's because of copyright reasons. They can't use the same thing. And Cut quality for Kopi King, well, it's not your, it's not your uh, standard, it's not your standard kind of rip uh, feel for the, for the uh, cuts, but instead it's more of your shiny, glossy finish cut. Yep. So, what do we have? We have the milk. You ha you have your various ingredients, which is which are your carnation milk, ice cubes. You have your Milo tin, you have your sugar, what else do we have? We have the tea bag or tea and we have still more tea. So okay, that is kind of like your ingredient cut. Okay, so let's remove the other pack. So. As you can see, we are actually unboxing this from string. We haven't actually had a chance to play this game yet. And Kopi King is only out 
since early August. So it's kind of like in tune with uh, the National Day in Singapore where we celebrate our 55th year of independence uh, just last week. And if you haven't caught the upgrade video on games Singaporeans play too often, check out the link here yeah, and give it a watch. And we are doing a giveaway where you can win kind of like the predecessor of Kopi King Chok and another game and do check it out there. So coming back, you actually have your other ingredient cards. You have your coffee, you have your uh, condensed milk and you have more carnation milk. So that's quite a lot of ingredient cards. So I think as per the back of the box, you have 104 ingredient cards. Yeah, we have 104 ingredient cards and then you have 30 over order cards. So from what I understand, the game actually uh, is you're trying to actually accumulate the most, kind of like the most amount of money that you can earn out of it. The most amount of money you earn out of it and the player that actually earns the most money wins the game. So before we tell you more about the game, do let me have a chance to read the rule book and we will come back. If you enjoyed the video, do give it a like, share with your friends and subscribe for more board gaming contents. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.